Hello and welcome to my advanced any percent tutorial for Shovel Knight. I will be going through the orb route, which is the easy route uh, and by far the most popular route at the moment. There is a faster route for any percent that was just confirmed uh, about four or five days ago. And that is not buying the orbs, but it is much harder. And since orb route is easier and it's only about 10 to 15 seconds slower, I will be showing the orb route instead. Uh, some of the things that I will be going through will not be... I will not be going through mechanics of shovel cancelling. I will not be going through why you should grab a ladder at the uh, at the at the maximum height of your jumps and stuff like that so i'm just going to go through the little details in why we're doing things in a certain order so let's just go in to a new file skip the intro every dart every dart file because this is the first thing that happens always drive by Never stop Pogo this beetle. If there is a block, you want to Pogo all these blocks that are in the way. And try not to, uh, like, stop. Like, when you're going through things, never try to, like, always try to keep your momentum going so you never stop holding right. You never want to stop. When you get to this second screen, some people like to break this block for the extra 20 gold, but they they touch this wall just a tiny bit when they're gonna jump up and pull with this one. So what I do, um, I don't break this one. Uh, what, I, what I'm doing instead is when I'm about here before the grass patch, that's when I jump and pogo. Because even if you pogo here, you will still hit the block. So you want to pogo the block as soon as possible. Uh, it doesn't matter the way you do it, just pogo the block as soon as possible. Which is a, around here, somewhere. So pogo that, get down. Uh, drive by shoveling this dirt pile doesn't actually give you the gold sometimes, but it's always worth doing. Just get over here, get up. There are two ways to do this room. One of them is that you um, kill the beetle. I actually don't know the setup. There are several people who have several uh, setups for this. That you can actually land on the platform before. So you don't have to kill the red beetle. Uh, it only saves uh, a very small amount of time. Uh, I don't go for it because it's such a small time save, so I don't want to fall down, so it's no use. Um, I wish there was a better way to show this. Okay, so... Hmm, let's see. Right here. The uh, black texture in the background, where the red arrow is. When I get up, and I always make sure that I'm on this side of the platform as soon, uh, like as close, uh, as far right as I can be. And when the platform reaches that black spot, that's when I jump and Pogo the Beetle at the same time. For me, it's a perfect visual cue. And there you go. That's what I use for a visual cue, and it works every single time. So you could use that, you could use something else, but that's the most consistent way that I have. 
Uh, Leap of Faith. Um, you probably already know this. But try and jump as late as possible and as early as possible on the moving platform. Always probe this one for 10 extra gold. And here, where I'm standing right now, this uh, grass patch. Let's see. I'm gonna reload that. This patch right there. That dark green. When I hit that with Shovel Knight's right foot, I short hop and pogo twice. And then cancel pogo on the third pogo. Because, um, like, after you pogo twice, you want to cancel the pogo because you don't want to pogo the dragon three times. And that makes sure that you get down to the ladder as quick as possible. And here, just pogo, pogo, all the way. Drop down. Uh, hit this exploding wall as early as possible. And then keep holding right because you can get, like, you get inside the wall as it's disintegrating. So you can move right faster. Just get over these. Kill that one just because that slime can sometimes jump at you and you can take damage and lose time. Just get down here. Uh, my visual cue for jumping to pogo this block, the first one, is this grass patch where I am right now with Shovel Knight's right foot. So I use that grass patch. And then always break the... When when you're... After you... Um, pogo this first block. Instead of just falling down and then go right. You have to like clear the second block. And then you can start moving right again. As you're moving down. Shovel attack. That block. You're, you will sometimes break both. It doesn't matter. And that means that you will... In, that sm in those small frames that you're descending, you can start moving right quicker. And then when you get down, just break those. And here, people have different input strats. I'm actually gonna, just gonna kill these so they're not in the way. I actually shovel and then jump shovel directly after. So it looks like this and sometimes I only get these blocks that I just got but that, that that's actually okay because I will still be able to get past uh, between this food plate and this these blocks you want to do you want to start mashing shovel canceling after you hit after you walk past the food plate because sometimes I well, it might be because of uh, bad inputs, but sometimes you stop. It's probably because of bad inputs. And then here, just hold right and down for Pogo, and Pogo all the way. Sometimes the um, slime can be not helpful, and you can't get the lost Pogo. So you have to jump up manually. Uh, visual cue for this the first pogo on the dragon is actually left horn you see like it looks like a pyramid almost this waterfall in the background when it becomes um, horizontal again when uh, shovel Knight's left horn is here that's when I jump because that makes a good setup for the vertical platform so you can get the maximum height to get and grab this ladder. Uh, some people use different methods for this room. Some people do this. And pogo the dragon up. And uh, But it's harder. And it's the same speed or even slower. So I recommend jumping up here. But don't do a full jump. Just do 
just enough so you can so you don't have to like wait for you to land again. I like, just do enough so you can jump directly again. Uh, some ladders. This is something people don't know. Some ladders, when you grab them, it doesn't matter where you grab them. You will still be at the same height when you finished the screen transition. Uh, and some ladders you can actually go above the screen transition loading zone and you can actually be way more up. This uh, screen transition, you just grab the... Uh, like you don't want to waste frames by jumping as high as possible on this ladder because it, you will be on the same height anyway when you climb this ladder. So just grab it as soon as you can hit the loading zone and then continue. Grab these tents, Pogo the slime. And uh, I'm not going to explain bubble wrap, but do bubble wrap. Whatever setup that you're used to. Uh, I will have a bubble wrap I have a bubble wrap tutorial up right at the moment and I'm gonna link it in the uh, description. I'm not gonna go through that here. So if you don't if you don't know bubble wrap then you uh, you can learn it in the, from from the tutorial that I made specifically for specifically for uh, uh, bubble wrap. Okay, um, let's see, I'm gonna try to stay alive a little bit more, let's see, right here, this black texture in the background of the tree, that's when I do my first full jump to start the stun lock of Black Knight 1. Uh, there is one more thing. Um, a lot of people still do. Uh, they do this motion all the time to kill Black Knight One. I actually finished with a pogo, and the reason I haven't timed it, but the reason, the theory that I have for pogo last hit on Black Knight One is that because you're doing precise shovel attacks with the stun lock the the last hit since that doesn't have to be really precise because it's the last hit i'm actually doing a pogo because when as soon as black knight once as soon as, as soon as black knight's invisibility frames drop and he can be hit again that's why i'm doing the pogo to reduce to hit him as as soon as possible when his invisibility frames has disappeared or ran out. So, because the pogo is always active, as long as you are in this anim animation and it hits something. Like, this is always active. So, the, the theory is that you hit him as soon as possible to save frames. And the thing is, you... If you do it properly, you will take damage at the same time. And because um, when you kill bosses, before the before you get the gold and like you have the victory, and the, like the stage is done, completed, it doesn't happen until both the boss and you are on the ground. And since you're taking damage, you're not like getting massive amounts of air from the last hit up for the pogo, so you will be on the ground when the the stage completion is about to be uh, played when you get the gold and the music starts. So the first full jump is when my right horn is at the red red arrow. Then continue with stun lock. I'm always looking at his health and then pogo. And, I'm, and as you saw, I took damage. So that's... So that is planes. That is how I do planes. And you should always be around 
1200 or 1300 gold. Uh, when you're exiting planes. Yeah, unless you take up, unless you pick up the pink gem, which I do not recommend. Uh, unless you're doing some weird gold route. So 1200 to 1300 gold leaving planes. Uh, and you're fine. Then when we get out here, we go to the village. Okay, this is going to be weird to show off. Like the visual cue that I have. Um, I'm just gonna show this quick before I end this part one. Okay, so. You see where Shovel Knight is standing? I'm actually looking like just to the right of this tree in the background. When I see Shovel Knight in the like in the in between his horns, when that part reaches just the right side of that tree, I always I already when I enter a village I hold left and I'm ready to press pause and jump. So as soon as I hit this text box where the red arrow is between, the visual cue is between Shovel Knight's horns. I press pause and then jump directly. So it's like, uh, let's see if I can do this without the actual text. Like that. Just to reduce the frames, just to, to get out of the village as quick as possible because that's, that's what you want to do. Uh, so planes part one is not much to talk about. It's mostly just Not take damage. Don't do any stupid mistakes Timing on black knight one Having everything perfect um, Anything in one way anything below 240 is a good time for planes if you are sub 50, it doesn't really matter if you're like, let's say you mess something up and you're five seconds behind. You can still keep on going because you still have time saver everywhere else. Sure, it's annoying, but uh, when you start to get a time where like you really don't want to have a bad start, then my rule is if I'm more than to, at the moment, I have a rule that if I'm more, if I'm gonna be more than two or three seconds behind, then I will reset. So I always get a 231, two minutes and 31 seconds. So if I get a 233 or 234, I'm still fine. Uh, but I, I'm usually at 231. Sometimes I get 232 uh, on the, like. If I mess up uh, the long uh, dust block room where you mash shovel cancelling through the blocks, for example, or you maybe one of the slimes decided to jump into you and damage you or whatever. But th that's like a general rule. If you if you are sub 50 or sub one hour, two, anything below 240 is fine. But. Of course, you want to have somewhere between 2.30 and 2.35 all the time. Okay, so that's for my part one of Planes and Black Knight 1. I will be making uh, Pride More Keep as well. And then we'll continue from there. Thank you for watching. And for Shovel